Hey scholars, thank you again for joining me um, for the second lesson of our C3 lessons. Um, this is Ms. Olguin again, and today I wanna share with you a lesson on a topic called growth mindset. This is something that you've probably already um, heard about or maybe um, done a lesson on in homeroom, but I want to uh, do a quick lesson with you on this topic, and I'm gonna start with the video. Chapter 1. Mojo discovers a secret about his brain. A secret that will change the way he looks at the world forever. Our story begins with Mojo, a friendly monster who loved school, especially math. Until one day, when something terrible happened. The math problems got harder. Nothing made sense anymore. Mojo had a devastating thought. He just wasn't smart enough for school. It seemed the only reasonable thing to do was pack his things and leave forever. Just then, he heard his friend Katie laughing. Mojo, you can't just give up, she said. I have no choice, Katie, said Mojo. You're either born smart or you're not. And I realize today that I'm not. Mojo, that's not how it works, said Katie. Anyone can be smart, you just have to work at it. Psh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, said Mojo. It's not ridiculous, it's science, said Katie. Neuroscientists studied the brain for years and discovered an incredible secret, that your brain is like a muscle. When you try challenging things, like those hard math problems, you're giving your brain the exercise it needs to get stronger, which makes you smarter. Ooh, is that really true? said Mojo. Of course, said Katie. It's like how when you were a baby, you didn't know how to talk. But you kept trying, exercising your brain, until one day, you could. Mojo! Mojo couldn't believe what he was hearing. If your brain was really like a muscle, did that mean anyone could become smarter? Even him? He turned to ask Katie, but just then, she had to be off to her next class. But maybe you can answer Mojo's question. What do you think? Can Mojo become smarter? What about you? Hmm, now that's an interesting question indeed. is asking himself whether it is possible to get smarter and to learn um, and get better at something or if you just kind of how you're born is just how it is and that's as smart as you're ever going to be. Um, to answer this question, I want to talk about growth mindset and what a growth mindset is. The growth mindset is the idea that as you get older, you can actually get smarter, you can get better at things that with more practice, you actually develop uh, more neurons, it's a type of cell in your brain um, that actually make you better at whatever it is that you're practicing or that you're doing. Having a growth mindset is really important because it really helps you to be optimistic. Um, it helps you to get gritty and to be perseverant um, so that you can accomplish the goals that you are working towards. The opposite of a growth mindset is a fixed mindset. That's a mindset that says, well, I'm just never going to be good at this and I'm just never going to get better. And when you have a fixed mindset, it's really hard to achieve your goals because you easily get discouraged. Um, you want to give up really easily and you kind of don't um, have that perseverant attitude or that perseverance um, to be able to accomplish your goals. And so having a growth mindset is really important because it actually really helps you to achieve your goals. It makes you a more optimistic person um, and makes you uh, have more perseverance to be able to achieve your goals. Um, and that idea is the idea that you can get better at something with practice and with a lot of hard work. So for our exit ticket today, we're gonna to answer three questions. And the first is, what is the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset? Um, and again, we talked about how a growth mindset tells you, yes, you can get better at things with practice, with hard work. While a fixed mindset is the idea that you can't get better at things no matter how hard you try. 
Then we want to ask, why is it beneficial to have a growth mindset? And we talked about how having a growth mindset really helps you to achieve your goals. And it's really important for you to become a person that has perseverance and that has optimism. And then lastly, we'd ask you to give an example of either yourself or someone that you know uh, that has used a growth, growth mindset or has had a growth mindset in the past and that that has helped them to achieve your, their goal. So those are going to be uh, your three exit ticket questions. They're linked right below this video. So please take a minute now to answer them and submit them. Um, I look forward to reading those responses. If you need to get a hold of me, please give me a call or a text at 210-781-5564 or my email benita.olkin at ideapublicschools.org. Otherwise, I look forward to reading your responses. Thanks.